Hello everyone, x Kill Bethelai here. And you may wonder, what fires Marcus up about Watchtower? I've heard people give their opinions uh, about me. I've heard people say, well, this spans back to what happened uh, to him at Bethel. Uh, this is because... Marcus is the type of person uh, that when he feels a certain way about something, he voices his opinion. Well, let me let you in on a little something. Uh, I've been a part of the uh, XJW community, community of survivors of the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, for years now. So I know a lot of people. One thing that gets me worked up about Jehovah's Witnesses is when I, 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 I hear from people who their own family isn't telling them when a family member is in the hospital, their, their own family uh, is it inviting them to events? There's people who their own mother and father aren't speaking to them, but because they are such a good person, and I hear this a lot from a lot of people, these are not small, isolated events. These are things that happen to a lot of people. Matter of fact, most of us have a lot of things in common, and that's poor treatment from family. So it hits me every time I'm listening to somebody and they're telling me about how they text their parents or one of their loved ones at least once a year or something to that effect, once every six months. And that person has not responded to their own family members' texts in years, some of them in decades. There are people who are reaching out to their family who are Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe they send them a text on their anniversary. Anniversary happens once a year. They're, 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 these people's own son or daughter text them once a year on their anniversary and these people won't even respond to that. When you hear about cruelty, just total, complete, and utter cruelty on a level that most people can't comprehend. When you hear about that level of cruelty, I'm talking about your mother and your father or, or sons and daughters refusing to speak to someone for decades because they don't want to be a part of their religion or they don't agree with this, that, or the third. It makes me so upset. And one of the reasons why it makes me upset is because Jehovah's Witnesses don't do anything for the community. They are valueless for the community. They don't do anything for the poor. They don't do it. They don't have any kind of charities. They're not doing anything for anyone in the public. So the only people that they're they're beneficial to is their family. The, the one group of people that Jehovah's Witnesses can actually be beneficial to is their own family. And these people can't even do that. It pisses me off because a lot of these people, and I'm talking about the people that do shun, 
I'm not talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses that that don't. I mean, it, it's few and far between, but there are some that don't shun. Now, here's the kicker. They may talk to you, but do you have a normal relationship with them or do they try to talk to you as seldom as possible or something like that? Like that sort of thing is not something someone should have to to go through. When you hear about a child being abused, when you hear about a child being beat to the point, I'm talking like a little kid, beat to the point where they have to go to the hospital. How does it make you feel? Do you just not feel anything? Are you indifferent? Let's say you get on YouTube and you are scrolling through YouTube and you see that there's some kid that got molested, beat, locked in the closet for weeks on end, malnourished. That sort of thing makes you angry, right? So when you watch the rest of the news article and you see those parents in the courtroom, you on your end, because of what you saw happen to that kid, you're watching this hoping the judge throws the book at them and throws away the key. You're yelling at your whatever you're watching it on that you want these people to get the death penalty. These people are worthless. These people couldn't even take care of their own kids. These people are a waste of breath, a waste of life, a waste of resources. These people are, are, are a complete useless, get rid of them, lock them, lock them up and throw them away the key. Well, the silent treatment for decades on end is abuse. The people who do not have anywhere near a normal relationship with any of their family just because they don't want to be a part of their religion, that's a form of abuse. They're abusing that person to try to force them into their religion. And it pisses me off just like you would be mad when you saw that little kid get molested, uh, sexually beaten, starved, locked in closets with no lights or anything for weeks. I've heard about that sort of thing. And when people hear about that, it makes them mad. But guess what? Weeks later, it's out of their mind. They're not thinking about it anymore. It's the same with me and Jehovah's Witnesses. When I hear about a situation like that, it makes me upset. Then weeks later, I'm not thinking about it anymore. But guess what? Jehovah's Witnesses do it so much that I hear about it again. I hear about another situation or a case of a person who deserves love. They're not a bad person as far as I can tell. This person deserves a mother and a father or this, this elderly person deserves a son or a daughter. And because of this idiotic cult, they don't get it. And when you hear the details of what this person's life is like with this huge gap where you got you got parents, they're alive. They raised you and don't, none of them want to talk to you. They refuse to respond to you or any other family member. When I hear about things like that, it sparks it again. So Jehovah's Witnesses, their own actions, what they continuously do to people, continuously makes me upset because, I'm, again, I'm not talking about the ones that don't shun. The ones that do you don't do nothing for the community. You don't do nothing for anybody. You don't hardly do for your own family. You are a worthless piece of shit. If lightning struck you in your fucking head and all your hair fell off and you shitted yourself and then died in that order, it would be great. Like you're not you're you're not doing anything any good for anybody. So you being dead or just gone 
or a tornado comes through and lifts you up and spins you around and carries you and the kingdom hall and that damn cart with all the magazine tornado picks all that stupid shit up twirls it around and throws it eight miles and they come crashing to their horrible demise and explodes on the pavement and then a couple of dump trucks come and drive over them and vultures come and uh, eat on them. Who's missing anything? This is what I'm saying. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> The people who don't do nothing for the community, they don't do, help nobody but Watchtower, passing out Watchtowers and trying to spread, get uh, converts over from, from Watchtower. The people who do that and they don't do anything for the community, they don't do anything even for their own family, except for on the condition that they feel like that family member makes them look good in front of their cult members. Jehovah's Witnesses will talk to and associate with family members if it makes them feel like it bolsters their, their, their image in front of that cult. I mean, if, if, if they don't do anything for their own son or daughter, their own mother or father. They don't even call and speak to them and check on them or nothing like that. I'm tell you tell me what good are they to society? A waste of breath, a waste of life, a waste of time, a waste of space. You know all the times Jehovah's Witnesses are talking about they can move into this house when Armageddon comes and kills off all these people, then they get to just go and plunder and, and, and st steal houses and take goods and, and do whatever they want after all these people are dead and they're so happy about it. That's how they think. But the problem is the opposite is true. They are the ones that are a waste of a house, a waste of a car, a waste of this, a waste of that. You see this Jehovah's Witness and they, they're they no good to their own family because they won't speak to them. They're no good to the community because they won't get involved with anything. They're not in politics. They're not in anything. They won't even join their own school basketball team. They're not good for nothing. They're the ones that Armageddon should come and destroy so that we can go live in their houses, use their Watchtower magazine carts to put our Chinaware on. We could go in and steal all their cars, take all their goods, raid their refrigerator and see what they got good to eat after Armageddon kills them. See, the problem is if Armageddon comes and destroys everybody but Jehovah's Witnesses, the world would cease to exist because you have just eliminated every structure there is on the planet. But since Jehovah's Witnesses don't get involved with anything, even their own family, if Armageddon came and wiped out all of Jehovah's Witnesses, nobody would miss them. Talking about the ones that shun, not the ones that don't. You ain't heard from them in 13 decades. How are you telling me you're going to miss them if Armageddon was the reverse of what Jehovah's Witnesses wanted to be? I mean, these people have governing body members who are completely without any kind of charisma, they're, they're basically worthless. They're almost worthless to Watchtower. Watchtower has got everything online now. You just go to jw.cult. You go to jw.cult, get on their website, and they got everything online. They almost don't even need these old, overweight people at all. At all. Watchtower don't even need half of these Jehovah's Witnesses. They're worthless. 
They don't even bring back converts for Watchtower. And that's all they do is, is, is write letters. They ain't even bringing back converts for Watchtower. So they're not good for society. They don't do nothing. They're not good to their own family. They're useless to their own family. And most of them are useless to Watchtower. <laughs> they ain't bringing nobody in. They're terrible speakers. If you could program a weather beacon to go up and triangulate every kingdom hall on the planet and have lightning come and blow every last one of them up, nobody is missing anything. There wasn't no food drives. You didn't blow up no food drives. You didn't blow up no homeless shelters. You didn't blow up any women's shelters. You didn't blow up any thing for the, the, the kids. You didn't blow up any social service structures. You didn't, you just blowed up a whole bunch of worthless buildings. Watchtower just uses to collect money from people. It's the honest truth that these people, once they get to the point of not being any good to their family and they're not good to anybody else in society, because Jehovah's Witnesses don't get involved with nothing but Watchtower, they're 1,000% a, a waste of breath. The only people who are an exception to that are the people who do speak to their family. There's a few that do. And even they, most of the time, need to work on being more of a family, not just barely talking to your loved one, being more of a family, being more of a support. But yeah, that's how I feel. And it's not so much what happened at Bethel a long time ago. That was a long time ago with what happened with me. That's been so long that it's not really going to stir up as much rage or anger. But the stuff that I hear the day I do a video, like the stuff that I hear right now about how cruel these people are and have the nerve to call themselves Christians when all they do is peddle magazines and shun their family. When I hear about that stuff right there in the moment, then it ratchets me up, right? Watchtower, it's, all, it's their own fault. It's, it's Watchtower's own fault. They're the ones that cause uh, the things that happen to them. So, you know, I keep wanting to take a trip uh, and travel, travel overseas. Uh, sounds like COVID is somewhat getting under control. So I'd like to travel overseas and go to uh, Russia. And, you know, because I keep hearing about the stuff that Jehovah's Witnesses do and how cruel they are to their own family and how worthless they are to all of society. I'd like to go to Russia and work in their police force, finding Jehovah's Witnesses, tasing them, uh, specifically the ones that shun their, their own family, those I would tase until they defecate themselves uh, and bring them into to jail, slam the door. The only time I open the door is to take a bucket of ice cold water and dump it on them because they're trying to go to sleep. Just wake them up every time they try to go to sleep. They just, they just drown it in water, ice cold water, to let them see what it feels like to be tortured. They've been doing it to people for decades. They've been psychologically tormenting people for decades with the shunning. Let's let them see what it's like. I don't care if they think that they're being persecuted. 
They could think that they could think whatever they want to think. I just go and refill my bucket with water and ice and prepare to dump it on their heads again. That's what causes that type of rage is their own actions. It's their own actions. And I notice I have the same emotion towards when I see people uh, abusing children. Whenever I see people and their own actions are deplorable, it rightfully makes me upset. It rightfully makes anybody upset. So if Jehovah's Witnesses, because I know so many former Jehovah's Witnesses, all these stories of the things that happened to them and how cruel their family is, it comes to me. Then when I hear it, it fires me up again. You know, it's like lighting a match on dynamite. And I get ready to put take that dynamite and stick it in between Samuel Hurd's ass cheeks and watch him splatter everywhere because they know they're misleading people. They know they're destroying families. They don't care. They deserve anything and everything the, the, the universe could possibly conjure up to have happen to them. I mean, if they just imploded one day on the JW broadcast on, in, on JW uh, dot cult and they imploded and their insides splashed onto the camera, I would say goody, 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 goody. That's what you get. Let's watch some more. Let's see some more splatter. I don't know if you guys watched the Saul series where they would just think up ways to just torment people and pull intestines out and do all kinds of stuff. Hopefully y'all aren't eating dinner right now. But yeah, if they had a, a show like that and the governing body were in there and they were the ones getting, you know, put in the, the, the wood chopper and chopped up and then spit out the other end and all kinds of stuff like that. You cannot tell me they would not deserve it. You can't tell me that they would not deserve every single chop because of the hundred plus years of abuse. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. X Wall Kill Bethelite. Signing out. That's 937-789-4029. We'll discuss it. X Wall Kill Bethlehem. Signing out.